Virgo, hi. So this is going to be a reading for mid-August 2021. And I'll do the reading for you and then I'll close it off with a oracle card. And these are general readings. So am I shuffling too much? Anyways, they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended at the end of the video. You can find all the info about that in the description box below if you want. Now let's see, Virgo, what's up? What's going on with Virgos? Virgo season almost coming up. It's a good grounding time after Leo season. Uh, let's see. Woof! is anything but ground in Virgo. What's going on here? Okay, okay. Phew. Anyways, um, the overall energy for the reading, the Three of Cups. Uh, an energy of needing that closeness, that maybe you need more friends around, more interaction. Maybe it's in relation to this lover situation that pops up here. Maybe it's a particular romantic situation. I don't know. But it's this need, this love that you may feel all of a sudden and wanting to bring it back into that beautiful place. Um, starting off the reading, you get the Wheel of Fortune crossed by the Five of Swords. There's a change. There's a shift that's happening. And you don't trust it. You don't trust this change. You don't trust this shift for some reason. Uh, your focus here, the tower, something might be shaking up your world like this change. I know for earth signs is very, well, I know it's a difference between mutable signs, fixed signs and so on and so forth. But generally for earth signs, it's that groundness that you place me here. It's hard for me to move here, over here, you know, because I'll move, but give me my time. Give me my, let me, you know, I'll come there whenever I'm ready. Um, so things that happen kind of fast might shake you a little bit. So it's kind of obvious here that that's why you may not trust it. Like, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. It made me move a little too fast in that direction. So we'll see. We'll see what this is about. Uh, there's movement definitely that's happening and you know, like um, in the recent past, there you are. The hermit that's your energy right there so that that's the kind of grounded kind of stable kind of i'm in my place do not move me please or if you do let me know give me some time before so that i can get ready and we'll do it but in my own time you know um in your strength here king of cups love lots of love popping up for you here in the immediate future, Five of Cups, a little bit of things from the past popping up for you. The uh, supportive energies, the Three of Wands, waiting, waiting for who knows what. Um, the energy that surrounds you, and you may not be aware of it, the Strength card. I don't know what's going on here, but you'll pull through this, okay? So I do feel a little bit of shakiness in the energies. It might cause a little bit of disturbance for you, but you've got it, basically. You, you may not be able to realize that, but you've got it. Um, in your hopes and fears, the Nine of Swords, this is a hopeful energy of not reaching that place of stressed out about things, of, oh my God, now I gotta think about this, I gotta do that, I gotta, you know, up in your head about things, basically. Uh, the potential outcome, the lovers. Interesting how that fell off of my hands. Um, yeah, so definitely something powerful there for you in terms of a connection with somebody. But let's uh, let's clarify. Let's see. Let's see what's up. <clears throat> Interesting how that fell off because I feel like that's where the shakiness is happening. You know, the tumultuous ground underneath your feet, basically. But let's see. For the Three of Cups, you get the Page of Cups, the Hangman, the Fool. <laughs> Man, I love seeing these energies attached to Virgo, to, to an Earth sign. Um, it's that openness. It's that um, I 
just decided that I'm going to open up in this direction. And I will let them know because I'm very, very determined to not only open up, but let them know. Give me some time. <laughs> Again, right? That kind of energy. And it's interesting when you see the fool because the fool is not that of, you know, the fool is jumping off a cliff. If you have some time to think about it, you're not going to jump, right? But Virgo will because that's where you're at. You know, you want to take that chance. You want to go for it. You want you want to jump off that cliff, uh, take a chance on things. But you need to think about it a little bit before, which is not a bad thing. I mean, it, to me, it's kind of like funny. It's I, I, I'm a fire sign. When I want to take a chance, I'll take a chance. I'm not going to think about it. But I'm thinking about uh, other Virgos, especially when, and I've had a, an example recently, when there was need for a, you know, a split second reaction, and I saw the process of thinking in that Virgo's mind during this time, and then I went in there and I showed the exact same situation and the way I would react to it. And I jumped, you couldn't read the reaction on me because I didn't have a reaction, I just jumped. In the Virgo, you could see everything, like the, the reaction from the eyes, then I could see the, the pattern of thinking about if I go this way, but if I go split second, and the situation is done. You know, it's a split second kind of thing. So it, it kind of reminded me of that, and it's funny to me. It works for you. This is a good energy here that you've got going on. I got sidetracked with my little story about the Virgo in my life. Um... For the Wheel of Fortune, you get the Ten of Pentacles, the Five of Pentacles, the Four of Cups. You're scared. You do have something stable here. You do have something good. You do appreciate it. You do see it most times. But then this fear comes in of it's not going to last. And you're hanging on to this fear like no tomorrow. And that belongs to you, not to the situation. You don't know if the situation is going to last or not, right? But that's how we kind of interfere with our own fears, our own energies in a pretty neutral situation. If we let it be, it'll be. If we throw in our things, our insecurities, our fears, it'll still be, but it'll be shaky, you know? So let's do the Five of Swords. The Judgment card, the Emperor, the Death card. Somebody may have ended something here, but again, it doesn't it doesn't look like it's ended. And it doesn't look like you feel like it's ended, even though it's showing up as it's definitely ended. I don't believe it, and I feel like you don't believe it either. Even if it comes from you. You know? This ending of a situation. Let's do the tower. In your focus. Wheel of Fortune, King of Swords, the Hierophant. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. This is what comes to mind when I see you this, when I see you this, when I see this. Because whatever happens here, whatever shakes up your world, it'll build you up into somebody more confident, more knowing, more, I've gone through this. Let's go to the next thing. Let's see what happens there. And it kind of gives you that boost of, I already know how to deal with situations similar to this. Now I have this extra confidence about if it's going to happen again, I'm here waiting for it. You know, so this is what's coming to mind here. It's, it's like you're either dealing with something that has the potential to bring you down, but you're not letting it, you know? Um, what do I have here? Let me do this hermit in the recent past. I usually leave the past untouched, but because it's you. Six of Pentacles, Five of Cups, the Magician. You've worked a lot with past patterns of yours. And I feel like you've um, gone through a lot of those. You've released a lot of those to the point of feeling like you're somewhat balanced in your life. There's still work to be done, but I feel like that was your focus. Like, okay, I need to take care of things here. Um, world, move aside. I need to look at myself. I need to clean up. And you did. There's still stuff, but you did. Uh, for the King of Cups, you get the Three of Wands, the Four of Pentacles, the Nine of Pentacles.
it comes in as an energy of somebody waiting for love. But something came to me like, what the hell are they waiting for? Because it's here. I'm not sure if this is you. This could be somebody around you. Where somebody's looking like they're free, they're independent, they're good, they're carrying a lot of love, but they're not necessarily in that love, you know? So it kind of feels like they're waiting on themselves to be more in that love when the love is already here. It's available to them. It could be you, but I see this as somebody else. Let's do that five of cups in the immediate future. Remember what I told you? You worked a lot on past situations. Five of cups appears again in your immediate future. So that's an energy of things that you may have worked with already. Things that you may not have addressed are coming back for you to deal with. And I feel like you're doing a great job. I feel like you're responding to those things really promptly, really... Yeah, I want to work on these things. It's not like rejecting them like oh my god i gotta deal with this again no i see you jumping on them basically you know taking care of them when they pop up um for the three of wands you get the lovers the queen of swords the page of swords ah that's what's going on remember this situation right here with the king of cups when i said it feels like somebody's waiting for love it's because somebody's shut down uh their heart space is shut down um so the other person is looking like they're kind of waiting for their heart to open up. Why do I feel this is a different situation though? <clears throat> than the one you're currently dealing with. Could be the same, but I kind of see it on the side. Um, on the side of all of this where there's a waiting for a connection to re-bloom, you know, to come back into love. But consciously, I don't see you waiting on the side for this or this person that you have this connection with. I feel like it's more of an energetic whole thing where the universe might be pushing this energy on both of you to remember this love for some reason um it could be that it's going to help you out in something you're currently dealing with i'm not sure what's going on here let's do the strength card the queen of cups the nine of cups the high priestess well there's plenty of love here there's plenty of love here It's almost like a reminder. Like when you get caught up into the routines, the day by day, the robotic kind of lifestyle of we need to follow the rules of society, of everything that's surrounding us. Kind of like remember to look a little bit into your heart, you know, remember to open up your heart a little bit. So it's, it's kind of like a reminder of um, still feeding your soul with that energy of love because that's what it's all about. But we forget it sometimes. We get distracted by life. So it's kind of like a, a reminder that you have it there, you know? And it's not a matter, you are open, your heart is open. So it's not a matter of, oh, I'm not feeling anything. I'm no, no, it's not that. It's just a reminder. Uh, for the Nine of Swords, you get the Eight of Swords, the Three of Pentacles, the Page of Wands. Pretty. You're a little confused about a partnership you may have with somebody. You're a little bit in your head about it. You don't know what to do about it. And it could be a friendship. It could be a work situation. Um, but it's coming in as feeling a little bit stressful. A little bit, yeah, I still want it overall. But man, it's fucked up. It's like, it's stressful as hell. So kind of stressed out about that situation there. For the lovers and the potential outcome... King of Wands, Ten of Swords, the Sun. Virgo, what are you doing here? 
there's definitely a powerful connection you're dealing with and you're again this fear that it's not gonna last is coming into play this fear of yeah i feel it i want it it's mine but who, who knows for how long what does it matter you have it now enjoy it now because yeah you don't know for how long but predicting that will create that ending so let's see what the universe has Six of Swords, Ace of Wands, the Temperance card. Okay, engaging a little more um, into all of this transition you're going through, because it seems like a transition, like a, a continuous work you're doing on a connection here with somebody, possibly. Um, there's an energy of being more proactive about it, more participating in it a little bit on your side. Uh, either wanting to or the universe is kind of urging you to start moving a little more, you know, in this direction of this connection. Instead of thinking, oh my God, it's going to end, do now whatever you feel like doing for it. Um, let's close it off with the Oracle card from Animal Dreaming Oracle. Dog. Loyalty. Let's see what that is. I mean, we know what it is. It's a dog. And dogs are loyal. Really loyal. All right. So, if dog has looped into your cards today, you are being reminded of the love you have surrounding you at this time. Love that you may be taking for granted or that you believe is no longer there. Is your loyalty to another a bit one-sided or no longer nurturing your needs? Are you sacrificing your true feelings for fear of being rejected? Is the loyalty in your relationship out of balance? Dog dreaming, dog dreaming, dog loyalty. Dog dreaming reminds us to maintain the loyalty we have to ourselves as our prime objective for without it, we cannot expect loyalty or unconditional love to be returned to us in any form. And this may be talking a little bit about uh, the need for love that showed up at the beginning, but also the um, the stressed out situation you're dealing with, which I feel like is tied up to a friend or a partnership. You know, you don't have to stress about it if unless there's still stuff involved in terms of emotions, loyalty, even if there is. If it doesn't serve you at this time, why would you stress about it? You know, some things just don't belong into our lives anymore and they usually fall apart on their own. So, but anyways, that's what I have for you. Hope this helped and I'll see you next time.